Hello, my name is Nikolai Papazov and in this video I will demonstrate how to use Command Central Stacks and Layer capabilities to provision software AG products on remote nodes. For that, let me log into the Command Central server which I have configured in the previous video. I will provide my username and password. I'm logged in. I need to create another variable of type credential which I will use to connect to the remote nodes via SSH. Let's go to the command central server configuration, choose credential and click add username and password. I will give a name I will type the user to connect to SSH. I will give my username and password. And I will click save. Go to the stacks and layers. Right now, there is no stacks created. I will click on the plus button and I would like to create a stack. I would call it a demo stack. And I would like to say that this is a version 10.5. I am able to choose different versions for which the whole stack will be. If a stack is defined to a version, it means that all products installed in that stack should be on the same version. Now, I have the possibility to create a nodes which are already existing, meaning that they are installed by some other means, or I can add new nodes, which would be my case. I will choose new nodes. Now, I am in the view of adding clear. There are different types of layers, and right now I'm, a, I'm creating a layer of type infrastructure. I will choose infrastructure remote layer, which means that the command central would connect to a remote machine via SSH. I would call this layer infrastructure. Then I will need to choose the bootstrap. Bootstrapper depends on the operating system of the remote node. In my case, this is a Linux and I have already a registered bootstrapper of 10.5. If I want to use different operating system, I need to make sure that the bootstrapper is downloaded from Empower for that system and registered into the command center. Now I need to provide some values for where the installation folder would be. That should be a directory where my user has access right. And that would be, let's call it software AG 10.5. Now I need to provide the nodes. And this would be the URL of the node. My name, my host is this one. Then I would need to choose a credential to log in through SSH. This is the operating system credential which I just created. The rest values I will leave it as it is as I want to use the default ones. The default password for the SPM, the default port for SPM, and the default port for SSH. Then I can click Finish, and this will trigger a job which will connect to the remote node, install SPM, and create an infrastructure layer. I can monitor that. The jobs are already running and it will take some time for the jobs to complete. Now, 
the job has completed for three minutes and my infrastructure layer is created successfully. I can go back to the stack and see that I have a layer of that infrastructure and there is SPM inside. And now it becomes green and said it's online. I can also go to the installation view and validate that this SPM has registered successfully to the common center. Now let's go ahead and create a new layer. In this case, I would like this to be a new runtime layer and this would be the messaging layer. From the layer definition, I will choose the UM server standalone. I would create that this is the messaging layer. I'm selecting the repositories of product and fixes which I already have registered. Now I need to choose on which nodes this to be installed. As in my case, I have only one node, I choose that one. Then I can select what values to provide to, to the messaging players. In that case, I want all fixes to be installed. I would like the default instance name to be called demo, the port to be 9000, the rest I would leave and change and now I have the possibility to select the license key. I will choose the universal messaging license and I will click finish. I will choose the universal messaging license and I will click finish. This will trigger us a job which will create the messaging layer and it will take some time. Now, the job have completed for 6 minutes and I can go back and examine my stack. I see that I have a messaging layer and UM messaging, universal messaging is up and running. I can also see that in the installation tab the universal messaging demo instance is reported as green. I can continue of adding another layer to my stack which will be of time runtime. In that case I would like to use the ice server runtime. I would call it integration. I would choose the product and master repositories. I would select the node of my stack and then I am able to provide some values. In that case, I would like to see that I would like to use the diagnostic ports. I wouldn't want any fixes to be installed on IS. I would like to provide an, a license file for the IS. And I would leave the rest. And I would click Finish. This will trigger a job that would install integration server on that node. It will take a while till the integration server is up and running. Okay. My jobs view says that the integration there have been successfully completed and it took five minutes. I can go back to the stack and see that now I have the integration layer and the eyes is green reporting online. I can go to the installations view and see that in instances I have a nice default instance. With that, the demo is complete. We have created a demo stack which consists of three layers infrastructure, which is the SPM, messaging, which is the universal messaging, and integration. Thank you for watching.